While hundreds of close contacts have begun home isolation in the new scheme, authorities have been urged to go one step further by allowing patients with mild symptoms to stay at home. Leading government advisor In Kuo Yong also proposed placing unvaccinated elderly people in isolation to protect them. Macy Mock reports. With Hong Kong experiencing its worst COVID outbreak since the pandemic began two years ago, a top government advisor has proposed a bold solution to save the public health care system from total collapse. Speaking on radio, infectious disease expert Yun Kwok Yong suggested a reverse isolation approach. Instead of removing those infected from the community, he said high risk individuals such as unvaccinated elderly citizens should be sent to an isolation facility. He gave the Asia World Expo as an example of where they can be housed. And with COVID treatment facilities fast filling up, Yoon said the next realistic step could only be asking patients with mild symptoms to stay at home. The expert also felt it was unnecessary to entirely evacuate elderly homes linked to patients. An alternative solution Yoon suggested is to place care homes under lockdown and administer regular tests on residents. He added it would take 7 to 14 days to observe the effectiveness of the latest round of social distancing measures, which kicked in today. As whether the city requires a blanket lockdown like the ones imposed overseas, the microbiologist said he was never against the idea, but questioned whether it was feasible. If you can deliver three meals a day to three million households and arrange dedicated transportation for people visiting clinics and hospitals, then it is possible, he said. Maisie Mock, HKIBC.